Translating a Life by Olga Lifshin Someone spread a blanket of wild buckwheat over a meadow. Someone tucked puffball pillows in each corner of the purple-green sheet. It's summer everywhere. Except war. War where it used to be home. And now war by government. Here. And what does it matter that the meadow seduces the bees in pollen? Or me? In lines of a poem? Or that I hear perfectly good Russian names for plants and translate them into you and mealish? Take the tea mushroom. The little fox mushrooms and piggies, the early field dweller, the mysterious cheese eater. These words are undocumented, and the country that sent them erases every syllable with its crimes. Take an under birch mushroom anyway. It's a choice edible. Birch bulit in your tongue. On the tongue. The language for falling in love with mushrooms, stories, or friends does not care who's killing whom. Unfortunately, I care. And sitting here by a huge flowering bush, I see no refuge. What language, fantasy, could stop us from being murderous strangers? Would you take a Russian mushroom name, tuck it in your lapel for the brief banquet of life? Does that translate anything else for you? Is this how it works? Translating a Life by Olga Lifshin Please follow the link to her fundraiser for Nova, Nova Ukraine. I'll see you tomorrow.